YouTubers Lee John Blackmore here at Super Easy Guitar. This week we're doing Boulevard of Broken Dreams by Green Day. Let's zoom in and get straight into it. Alright guys, so I'm doing this in standard tuning. Now if you want to play on the uh, if you want to play along with the record, you need to put the capo on the first fret and do the same chords. E minor, G, D, A. To save you the trouble, if you don't have a capo, I'm just going to take it off and play it in standard. Okay. What I think they do originally, I think they probably play it with bar chords. That's why people use the capo. And the reason I think that is because right at the end, the very last chord, is an E. Now when you've got the capo on you can't do that because the lowest chord is an F but forget all that for now you can play it with or without the capo that's fine. So the chords are and I'm just going to do easy strokes okay E G D A back to E minor Nice easy chords, okay? I walk a lonely road, the only one that I have ever known. Okay? So really nice and easy to play along with. When it comes to the chorus, it starts on C. My shadows, G, D, only one that E minor walks beside me, and again. It goes again. C sometimes G. I wish someone would find me. E minor, okay, and then it goes C till then G O B walk alone. So that's probably the hardest part of the whole track, okay? So on the fourth time of the chorus, C G D. E minor, at the end, instead of going to the D, you just go B. Now I'm just playing a B5, that could be a full B there, but B5 power chord, first finger, second fret on the fifth string, third finger on the fourth fret on the fifth string, the D string, and then pinky underneath it if you want, okay, also in the fourth fret on the G string, sounds like that. So that's gonna be just fine for the B, okay? To play a proper B, it would be a bit of a bar chord, it looks like that. Okay, it's a tricky one, guys. I normally play it where those three fingers, I kind of bar them there. And then I don't worry about the top E. So how, however you wanna do it, okay? So let's have a look at the verse and then the chorus. I'll play it quickly. Again. Chorus. And again. Okay, third time. Last time.
Okay, then we're back. So there your verse and chorus is. There is a solo section, and what the guitar's doing in the solo section is C, G, D, E minor. That happens three times. Just like the chorus. So the last time, C, G, B. Notice how on the B I'm in instead of going down, down, I'm going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright? So there you have it guys. Your verses, your choruses, nice and easy. If you want to play along with it, practice it really slow, okay? I want this lonely road, the only one that I I have ever known. So for some reason. I mess it up when I play it slow, whatever. Um, there is an outro where it goes kind of crazy. Yeah, and it's something like. So I'm playing all that in power chords, okay? Just to give it that heaviness because it gets kind of cool and heavy at the end, right? So I'm just doing E minor power chord or E power chord. So that's just open E, second fret on the A string, the fifth string, second fret on the D string. Playing it as a chord, three string chord. You can also play it as a two string chord. Just the, the bottom E and A. My dog's barking in the background. So E, C, okay, power chord, third fret on the A string. Then D, power chord, first finger, fifth fret on the A string. This is where it changes. Okay, so what happens is the third finger or the pinky you can put there stays in the seventh fret and the first finger goes down into the fourth. So all together. Okay, then we're doing a G. Okay, so now first finger's bottom E, power chord shape. And then, because it should be E flat, right? But now we have to play E flat up here. So back on the A string, it goes sixth fret. So the whole thing looks like this. So I'm going. The very last time. And that's how it finishes, okay? G, G, B flat. So there you have it guys, hope you enjoyed this week's lesson. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell button if you haven't already subscribed. I do these lessons every week. Please give me the thumbs up, any suggestions or comments, put, please put in the comments box below. Any like uh, questions you have, I do Q&A lessons, please put them in an email, a more in-depth email, and fire them over to me and I'm likely more likely to do a video on it, okay, if it helps everyone out. And I'll see you again the same time next week, guys. Enjoy.